North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, said President Donald Trump will pay dearly for his address to the United Nations General Assembly earlier this week. In the statement, Kim also said North Korea is considering the strongest possible response to what he called Trump's provocation. Kim, according to the Associated Press, said, I'd like to advise Trump to exercise prudence in selecting words and to be considerate of whom he speaks to when making a speech in front of the world. President Donald Trump, in his first speech to the United Nations, had slammed Kim Jong-un, using his new favorite nickname, Rocket Man. Trump said, referring to the regime of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, no nation on earth has an interest in seeing this band of criminals arm itself with nuclear weapons and missiles. He added, the United States has great strength and patience, but if it's forced to defend itself or its allies, we will have no choice but to totally destroy North Korea. The U.S. Air Force fleet, as of 2017, has three strategic bombers, B-52 Stratofortress, B-1B Lancer, and B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. bomber fleet can destroy the North Korean military in a single day. Let's get started. Number three. The B-52 Stratofortress is an American long-range subsonic jet-powered strategic bomber. The B-52 was designed and built by Boeing, which has continued to provide support and upgrades. The B-52 has been in active service with the USAF since 1955. As of now, 58 are in active service with 18 in reserve. Superior performance at high subsonic speeds and relatively low operating costs has kept the B-52 in service despite the advent of more advanced aircraft. With regular upgrades, it's expected to serve into the 2040s. Over its 60-year lifetime, the B-52's avionics, flight hardware, and weapon systems have been upgraded. In 2006, the fleet received a mid-life upgrade to its avionics, adding modern processors and navigation systems. In 2014, the Air Force gave the B-52 their first new communication system since the 1960s, including full-color LCDs to replace the old cathode ray tube screens. On the weapons front, the airplanes are due to receive weapons bay upgrades, enabling them to hold more smart bombs and radar enhancements, potentially including the active electronically scanned array systems technology. The bomber is capable of carrying up to 70,000 pounds of weapons and has a typical combat range of more than 8,800 miles without aerial refueling. This combination of outstanding range and high payload capacity and ability to incorporate modern weapons makes the B-52 apt for strategic bombing missions. Number 2 The B-1B Lancer is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy bomber used by the United States Air Force. It's commonly called the Bone. Most airplane wing designs are trade-offs. Wings are set for low speed stability or high speed performance or some middle point. But even with flap systems and leading edge slats, fixed wings are compromises. A multi-role aircraft needs more flexibility. Having variability in the wing configuration has huge advantages in making a single aircraft adept at multiple missions. The United States has 100 of these. B-1B has an excellent range. 5,900 miles or 9,400 kilometers. It has a service ceiling of 60,000 feet. The bomber has many design elements, which makes it hard for the enemy radar to detect it. B-1B has six eternal hardpoints for 50,000 pounds of ordnance and three internal bomb bays for 75,000 pounds of ordnance. Hence, it has a massive payload of 125,000 pounds internal and external ordnance combined. This makes the B-1B deadly. For example, it can carry 84 Mark 82 Air Inflatable Retarder Air General Purpose GP bombs or 81 Mark 82 Low Drag General Purpose LDGP bombs or 24 Mark 84 General Purpose bombs or 24 Mark 65 Naval Mines. Number 1 
The B-2 Spirit was developed to take over the United States Air Force's USAF vital penetrations missions, able to travel deep into enemy territory to deploy their ordnance, which could include nuclear weapons. The B-2 is a flying wing aircraft, meaning it has no fuselage or tail. The blending of low observable technologies with high aerodynamic efficiency and large payload gives the B-2 significant advantages over previous bombers. Stealth capability provides greater freedom of action as the bomber can evade enemy air defenses. The United States has 21 of these. The U.S. Air Force reports B-2's range as approximately 6,900 miles or 11,000 kilometers. It has an excellent payload too. B-2 has two internal bays for ordnance and payload with maximum estimated limit of 50,000 pounds, 2,300 kilograms. It can carry 16 B-61 or B-83 nuclear bombs on rotary launcher assembly. The B-61 is a variable yield kiloton range weapon. Tactical versions can be set to 0 0.3, 1.5, 5, 10, 45, 60, 80, or 170 kiloton explosive yield and the strategic version has a yield of 340 kilotons. The B-83 thermonuclear weapon is a variable yield gravity bomb. It's the most powerful free-fall nuclear weapon in the United States arsenal with a maximum yield of 1.2 megatons of TNT. For comparison, the Fat Man atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki had a yield of 20 kilotons of TNT. North Korean air defense are good in numbers but not in quality. The missile defense like SA-2 Guideline, SA-6 Gainful, SA-5 Gammon are all designed in the 1960s and have vintage technology by today's standards. These systems also may not be in proper working order and the missile availability is expected to be low. The B-2 and B-1B were designed specifically to evade such defenses and the relatively low-tech B-52s can simply fire AGM-86 cruise missiles at North Korea from well beyond the range of the country's air defenses. North Korea has a fleet of different kinds of fighters, which even includes Chinese derivatives of very old fighters like MiG-17 and MiG-19. The MiG-29 is the Korean People Army Air Force's KPAF, most modern fighter and it operates approximately 40 of these. Though the MiG-29 is a proficient fighter, North Korea has been isolated for long with very little access to spare parts and other maintenance infrastructure. Also with no access to foreign air-to-air -air missiles because of sanction and no in-house designs, the MiG-29 is equipped with old weapons technology. These will be easy prey for U.S. fighter jets escorting the bombers. With little challenge from air defense and enemy fighter jets, these bombers can operate with impunity and the massive destructive power is capable of bringing down North Korean military to its knees in a single day. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.